the concept of intelligent data lake management system, machine consciousness, and universal data model by Anna Singer. Uh, yes, I'm here. I'm ready. Um, I'm so sorry, I have a low connection uh, of internet, so I can't uh, uh, turn on my camera. So I'm sorry about it. Uh, so I will turn on my presentation. Um, Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Anna Zanger, and uh, uh, our topic uh, for today is uh, about uh, the concept of an intelligent uh, data lake management system. I will talk about um, uh, machine consciousness and uh, universal data model. Uh, first, I want to uh, review problems of current data lake uh, systems. Uh, the evolution of technologies and the ever deeper integration of uh, automation tools lead to constant increase uh, in the, the amount of data processed by enterprises. To work uh, efficiently uh, with large volumes of uh, disparate data, the concept of data lake uh, began to be used. Um, data lake uh, can be defined uh, as uh, a vast repository of raw data from uh, various sources that can be transformed and analyzed. Um, with the exponential growth of amount of data stored and, in the data lake uh, and the lack of control over the loading and the organization of data, the problems of potentially important data be uh, being unused uh, is often common. So, um, uh, based on the recent research, the following problems have been uh, identify, uh, identified. Um, uh, there is no universal concept of data lake. Uh, research gaps need to be filled in data lake architecture and data lake management. And uh, the absence of a comprehensive design and implementation strategy that uh, considers interdependencies between aspects of data lake uh, is a major challenge for using data lake in practice. The existing problems are related uh, to the poor development of the theory of data lakes. Uh, we propose the concept of data lake, uh, which will overcome many existing problems. Uh, so at first part of my presentation, I will focus on uh, uh, consciousness and subconsciousness uh, in uh, data lake management system. Uh, first, uh, we will talk about artificial consciousness. Uh, Biological evolution has shown that the consciousness is powerful and flexible and creative control system. The lake may well be an object control controlled by consciousness. It is developing uh, moves in time. Uh, consciousness should be built in the data lake management system and manage only a specific data lake. In the process of management uh, based on available resources, the consciousness provides the ability of uh, receiving new data from uh, st uh, storage, optimize the query execution time, uh, response to equipment failures, uh, interact with a team of administrators who manage uh, data lake, and uh, set parameters uh, uh, for functioning of the data lake. Uh, the data lake control system will be consciousness uh, if it uh, meets the following requ uh, requirements. Uh, Self-knowledge. Uh, uh, the system has a complete knowledge of its current cognitive state and uh, the data produced by all its sources. Uh, Self-control. System is fully uh, aware of performance and status uh, of its sources and uh, data manipulation tools over time. Uh, self awareness and self uh, or self reflection. Uh, system is aware of the internal and external changes uh, that it uh, causes. Uh, self information. The system globally communicates uh, its cognitive state uh, to all models uh, of the system whenever st uh, state uh, change occurs. Um, uh, the solve, uh, to solve the problem of data lake management, consciousness uh, will have a uh, service knowledge base contains no, uh, 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 following knowledge uh, about uh, all services uh, on which data lake is located, uh, uh, all logical data objects stored in data lake, all sources of data, all available places where you can look, uh, look for missing data. Uh, all data transformations performed in the data lake, uh, all users about and about all their requests, about uh, history 
different uh, data lake KPI values and uh, about data lake uh, administrator. Um, uh, the subconsciousness mind has a larger memory uh, than the consciousness mind and the several independent uh, intelligent agents functioning in parallel, in contrast to the consciousness mind having a single agent. Consciousness is uh, engaged in comprehension and logical uh, conclusion based on the information received. Uh, consciousness develop, uh, develops new models of behavior and problem solving in unknown situations. Subconsciousness agents perform various auxiliary actions and pull memory blocks into consciousness that may be associated with solving um, uh, current problems. Uh, subconsciousness quickly works uh, based on uh, ready-made models. Uh, intuition uh, is used to transfer information from subconsciousness uh, to consciousness. And as a mechanism to, transfer, uh, to, transmitting, uh, to transmit information to consciousness is emotions, uh, which show the consciousness uh, what uh, it hap uh, is happening in some consciousness level. Um, so, uh, if uh, it is advisable to use uh, subconsciousness of the lake uh, for following regular actions, uh, uh, replenishment of uh, data lake uh, with new da uh, data, uh, checking service health sta status, uh, evaluation of stored data objects uh, and their collections, evaluation of uh, incoming requests and their execution time, clearing memory of uh, non frequently used auxiliary data and indexes fetches. Uh, optimization of uh, placement of data and their aggregates in storage uh, and um, creation of uh, service da data selections and indexes to speed up query execution. Uh, to predict uh, data lake performance in the uh, near future, the subconsciousness uh, uses uh, AutoML library. All calculated, all cal calculated uh, values uh, of indicators and trends become available uh, to the consciousness, uh, which uh, takes actions to avoid critical situations and provide service level agreement. Um, to efficiently manage uh, the data uh, lake and automated support, uh, and, uh, an intelligent adaptive data lake management system is proposed, uh, which, is, uh, which has following features. Uh, the presence of consciousness to manage uh, parameters of data lake, uh, usage uh, universal data model that includes uh, metagraphs, uh, tables, uh, multidimensional cubes, uh, I will talk about uh, later. Um, support for uh, family of languages for uh, working with metagraphs, including declarative and navigational queries and uh, data manipulation languages. Um, the presence of, of some subconsciousness uh, mind to perform frequently repeated uh, procedures, uh, the presence of agents looking for information missing in data lake in external sources, uh, bots that provide interaction with administrator and customers in uh, natural language, uh, auto email system uh, used by subconsciousness to predict characteristics of data lake, uh, and uh, library of classical mathematical algorithms uh, for working with graphs, adapted for working with metrographs. So, uh, on the second part of my presentation, I will uh, tell you about universal data model. Uh, to structure a large amount of data, it is necessary to use data model that provides an unlimited number of uh, data, nesting levels, uh, and nesting encapsulations. These features will allow uh, operating with data at the upper generali generalized uh, levels and uh, access to details only when uh, the needs arise. Um, metagraphs are only one type of data model that uh, has this capability. Uh, several more elements, uh, element classes must be added to the model uh, to work with any data, data structures. Uh, tables, multidimensional cups, uh, virtual tables, and virtual multidimensional uh, cups. Uh, uh, to work with tables, you need uh, several auxiliary objects, uh, table row, table column, uh, column and uh, K. And uh, to work with multidimensional cubes, you need uh, auxiliary elements, uh, uh, dimension, hierarchy of dimensions, and uh, indicators. Uh, so let's talk about metagraph model. Uh, Metagraph is kind of complex network model proposed by Bazu and Blaining uh, in their monography and uh, then adapted by authors uh, in, uh, for information system description. 
In Bazoon planning uh, model, uh, the meter graph is defined by expression that you see on uh, the slide. Um, uh, X is the gener uh, generating set of meter graph set of elements, and E is set of edges. Um, uh, the concept of metavertex, uh, metavertex isn't presented in, in this model. Uh, this version of metagraph model is more suitable to describing uh, uh, direct processes than for describing pop process uh, graph data structures. Um, uh, so we will talk about annotated metagraph model uh, 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 that uh, extends the idea of uh, original model of Bavazoon planning. Metagraph model may be described by a set of metagraph vertex, set of metagraph meta vertex, and set of metagraph edges. Uh, metagraph vertex is described by a set of attributes, and metagraph edge is described by attributes, uh, source and destination vertex, and uh, edge uh, uh, direction flag. Um, uh, the metagraph fragment is uh, described by an element that belongs uh, to the union of vertex, uh, meta vertex, and edges. Metavertex, in addition to the attribute, includes the fragment uh, of the metagraph. Uh, the, pre uh, the presence uh, of uh, private attributes and connections for metavertex uh, is a distinguishing feature of metagraph. Uh, metavertex may include a number of low-level elements and uh, may include, uh, be included in a uh, number of higher-level elements. Uh, so metavertex with uh, its private uh, attributes and connections become a whole that can be separated into its components part. On the next slide, we see example of annotated metagraph. Uh, on, uh, on the picture, we see uh, three metavertex, uh, fi uh, five vertex uh, that uh, are connected with uh, several uh, edges uh, that connect uh, metavertex and a vertex, metavertex uh, to each other, and uh, uh, different types of connection. Uh, metagraph model allows describing co a complex data structure, and uh, it is uh, metavertex that allows uh, implementa implementing emergence principle in data structure. Um, let's talk about another uh, type of uh, graph data, uh, data model, uh, uh, protograph model. Protograph can be uh, thought as a graph without H. Uh, the role of H is performed by the junction of the vertex to each other. Um, so protograph uh, uh, is uh, given by the set of elements and neighborhoods uh, uh, matrix consisting of uh, zero and one, when uh, one means the neighborhood uh, uh, of element A to element B. Uh, ordinary graphs are protographs in which elements are divided uh, into two element classes, and the rule is that elements of the same classes can not be adjacent. Uh, on the uh, pictures, we see two types of uh, protograph model, uh, undirected protograph and direct protograph. Uh, Archigraph uh, with number n is protograph uh, with the division of elements into n classes and uh, corresponding division rule. Uh, the number of classes into which uh, elements are divided is the most important characteristic of the archigraph. Uh, so on this uh, picture, we see uh, a uh, metagraph uh, of Bazoo and Blading uh, that uh, is shown as archigraph model. Uh, archigraph model. So uh, annotated metagraphs are archigraphs with five cl classes of elements, vertex, meta-vertex, edges, meta-edges, and attributes. Uh, so uh, uh, some of adjacency rules of uh, elements of different classes in the universal data model are presented on the slide. Uh, each edge can be edges, uh, adjacent uh, to one of elements of the following classes, vertex, meta vertex tables, so which, uh, virtual tables, multidimensional cubes, uh, virtual multidimensional cubes. Uh, the same class elements uh, is for meta edges and uh, meta vertex and meta edges uh, uh, can contain with themselves uh, uh, vertex, meta vertex, H, meta H, uh, tables, virtual uh, tables, multidimensional cubes, uh, and virtual multidimensional cubes. Uh, 
uh, the proposed universal data model will allow building complex metagraph structures and uh, link tables and multidimensional cubes to them. Uh, this will, uh, will make it possible to work on a single data structure for all type of, uh, types of applications. Uh, on the next part of my presentation, I will tell uh, a little about uh, geographic metaphor of data lake. Our uh, first metaphor is a uh, single data lake. Uh, the example of it is uh, Sivan Lake. Uh, this is uh, a simple single data lake uh, with, uh, that uh, have agents in control system and uh, um, uh, works uh, only in uh, data lake, this data lake. Uh, second uh, geographic metaphor is uh, interconnected data lakes. Uh, for example, Great Lakes in Canada and USA. So uh, this, uh, ex uh, this metaphor shows us uh, data lakes that uh, ha uh, have uh, 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 have open parts to, of their data structures to each other and ex exchange data with each other. Uh, very large, a large data lake, data sea, uh, our next metaphor, uh, for example, Caspian Sea. Uh, so uh, there we talk, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, existing data, uh, data lakes begin to open more and more uh, to each other and uh, uh, open all data. Then, uh, so then they merge into one big sea of data and all the metadata of different consciousness are combined and whole um, structure begins to be controlled uh, by a single big uh, consciousness. Um, uh, the next is uh, data C with a small open part of data. For example, Baltic Sea or Mediterranean Sea. Uh, on the uh, slide, we see a picture uh, of uh, Baltic Sea. Uh, so, um, uh, most of seas are, on the Earth are connected to the world ocean, and uh, uh, but these connections are different from each other. And by analogy, public access of data uh, to the data of uh, the data lake via the internet can be organized in different ways. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there, uh, there is seas uh, that are connected to the world ocean through a narrow strait, uh, such our examples. And uh, this is a direct analogy to a large data lake, which has small open part to the internal data structure or to, to the data lake, uh, to the internet. I'm sorry. And uh, next metaphor is uh, data C with num uh, numerous uh, exposed pieces of the internet data accessible via the internet. So uh, there is category of seas that are covered from ocean by right of islands. Uh, um, this is analogy of uh, two large data lakes, uh, which have numerous exposed pieces to, uh, of the in uh, internal data structures that are uh, available uh, via the internet. Um, and uh, the last uh, metaphor, uh, geographic metaphor, is data sea uh, wide open to the internet. For example, Norwegian sea. Uh, so this is the last category of seas, uh, uh, seas that are wide open to, uh, to the whole ocean. This is an analogy of uh, with a large data lake, uh, the entire internal uh, data structure of which is open to access from the internet. So uh, on the last part of presentation, uh, we will talk about inconformity uh, uh, with the uh, development of ERP uh, for current data, data lakes. Uh, in 2010, uh, in parallel with first proposal of data lake concept, uh, first uh, independent uh, proposals of the UP3 con concept uh, appeared, uh, reflecting various aspects uh, of the future class uh, of systems. Uh, and in 2013, uh, trans uh, transition to ERP3 was made uh, uh, associated with the rejection of uh, monolithic application and transition to set of uh, integrated cloud and local applications that solve all the necessary tasks of enterprise management tasks. Uh, these applications are different uh, uh, DBMS and uh, data stores, uh, which may use different data models. 
Uh, data of such uh, corporate system can be successfully placed in a multi-paradigm multi data lake, but U.S. 3 system uh, were described and uh, developed uh, in 2013-2015 and uh, the necessary data lake uh, in 2019-2021. Uh, uh, in, in conformant uh, of uh, with the amount of data for current data lakes. So this is the second aspect uh, in which the existing uh, concept uh, data lake lacks uh, from the development of enterprises applications is, uh, is the need to copy all data of transactional systems uh, to the data lake. Uh, to, to reduce uh, data duplication and copy operations, uh, uh, embedded analytics has been uh, actively developed since uh, 2014. This is uh, facilitated by the fact uh, that AP uh, ERP3 uh, applications mainly use big data platforms and uh, as technological platform. Building uh, analytics works uh, directly with uh, transactional data. It doesn't solve all problems, but it uh, significantly reduces the, uh, the need or to use uh, data warehouses and data lake. Uh, connecting a large number of edge uh, devices uh, increases uh, the amount of stored data up to exabytes. Uh, such uh, volumes naturally exclude the possibility of duplicating all data for use uh, for analytics. And in, at the end of presentation, I want to tell you about prospects of data lakes. Uh, development of proposed concept uh, should not cause uh, any extra problems and uh, development of uh, experimental system may require only uh, one and a half or two years. Uh, the creation of such system and the beginning of uh, widespread uh, use of uh, implement, uh, implemented uh, uh, principles will make it possible to eliminate uh, the gap of data lake concept uh, from the architecture of corporate management systems of large companies. Uh, the concept of data lake management system allows to manage all the data, uh, data of large company use both of uh, in all up or LTP modes uh, with high degree of autonomy with, uh, and without involving many employees. The uh, data lake management system will independently decide where and what to place and uh, what data needs to be cached. Uh, this approach, uh, in our opinion, uh, will solve uh, the existing problems. So thank you for your attention. If you have any uh, questions, uh, I'm happy to answer them. For the presentation, any question for the audience? Okay, it appears not to be questioned. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much.